In this video, we talk about the law of attraction, meditation, and the manifesting techniques that have worked for us. Hi everybody, this is That Tech Family. I'm Cody. This is Chelsea, Charlie, and Casey. We're here to talk about the law of attraction and kind of explain what it's done for us and some of the things we do to manifest our reality. So we learned about the law of attraction a long time ago. Um, I learned about it through books uh, by Eckhart Tolle um, and Deepak Chopra. I kind of learned a little bit about it. Um, but really, the movie The Secret is really what brought it into our lives. Uh, in, in, um, basically what happened was we were about to have our daughter and uh, we had to find a new place to live because the place where we lived, they were selling the house. We were renting at the time. So that was what, like two weeks before our daughter was born? Literally two weeks before we had our daughter, we moved. <laughs> everything we had yeah, <laughs> into it, another apartment, the nursery, everything. I mean, and we found this new place in like the day that we learned we were, we had to move. We yes. found, she found this, another place for us right and, away. And not just like a little tiny apartment guys. Um, we've always had a little bit of an unconventional style of living actually before we bought this home. Um, this is our first, home that we bought we lived on an island Anna Maria Island and um, we've always lived on the beach in these cool little either apartments or old Florida bungalows and so I was able to find to find a two bedroom one bath apartment on the beach you know for a family in the middle of season at that she yeah. was born in March and uh, for those of you um, who don't know, Florida tourist season is, um, March is big, it's spring break. Yeah. So the fact that we were able to find that, and we were young, I was 23, and we didn't have anything. I mean, the only reason we were able to have first, last, and security is because I had just gotten my taxes back. Yeah, I mean, and we were so, completely broke. And so, I mean, we were paying for doctor's appointments. I, um, Cody had just started out with his business. I was working as a waitress at a restaurant and you know times were tough I mean they were good but you know young couple soon to be family and um, you know that's when we discovered the secret yeah so I mean I was just starting to work on my own and work on my own projects and try to get my own clients trying to build my own agency um, I just started working online I think I had a couple clients but we were completely broke and we found the secret one day and on Netflix. Yeah, and it was just it was like I don't know, it was the revolutionary for us. And we watched it probably every single day several times. We started to meditate. We started to try to learn from everything that they talk about on the secret, which is, you know, you can manifest your reality if you believe in it. It's kind of like a um a genie in a lamp. So, you know, the universe is the genie and you can ask for anything you want but if you believe in it and you put enough emotion into it you can bring it into reality so we started to do that and started to get more clients and things started to look better and we landed a, a big client and i mean that was basically I mean, the game changer. it changed our whole lives it yeah was... it changed everything for us i mean we were able to i mean we had we finally had what we wanted we were we needed money so, so we could survive i remember us being able to afford private health insurance yeah little things like that you know we were i remember our daughter was still so little by christmas she was nine months but going to toys r us and as a young couple having that feeling like we can pick out whatever toys you know that she Anything. wants you know yeah. for her and it's not a big stressor and that really had to do with us believing in ourselves and really checking um, our thoughts. And the thing with the law of attraction is, is that it really makes you become more self-aware. Yeah. And I think um, a lot of people, I know for myself, especially when I was younger, I would find myself in challenging situations. We all are faced with challenging situations. And um, you know, through the law of attraction, I was able to gain this self-awareness that when I was in a situation 
where I really had the opportunity to fail and we really could and should have maybe failed, um, we were able to succeed because we had that self-awareness and we were able to take a step back and say, you know what, this is totally something different. It's scary, but let's have a leap of faith and let's go for it. And we were trusting our instinct and we were really spending time in doing things that matter to us that really made us happy and that's what the law attract law of attraction is about it's about finding those things that make you happy being your true self and really dedicating that time to doing that so um one of the biggest things that we started out early in i mean of course meditation we tried to start and that's hard i mean when you first i mean it's hard now too sometimes but when you first start out you really are like what am i doing this is, <laughs> this is so weird you know i'm thinking and then you realize wow i you know later on i i think all sorts of crazy stuff and maybe i can't turn my mind off when i thought i did have that control you realize you don't have control over your thoughts and, um, you know, so through meditation, that really helped. And then we found ourselves really getting immersed in nature. Um, yeah. I mean, that was so, I mean, you want to picture, you basically, I mean, and it, it's hard to do, but you want to live the life that you, you live your life now the way you would want to live your life. So if you want to be like, successful and wealthy like what would those what would you do if you were successful and wealthy well we would walk on the beach we would take time to go ride yes. our bikes in the middle of the day you know on a lunch lunch time we're riding bikes around the island that we live on and of course we live in paradise so it makes it easier um but you know but you we also to chose to live in a beautiful area yeah. we choose to be outside we choose to spend time in nature and yeah. choose to, you know, exercise as well. That's really important. Um, and believe it or not, I think another thing that really changed the game for us is when we adopted Charlie. Charlie came around when Collins just turned three and that was right around the time she got diagnosed with celiac disease, which that was another huge challenge for our family because she was incredibly sick. Um, not only were we dealing with physical health concerns, we were also dealing with developmental delays um, that we were starting to see. So just a lot of negative emotions going on and a lot of, you know, uncertainty and, you know, arguments because we weren't really sure what to do and what was best for her. But one day we ended up adopting Charlie and I had read, um, I have a special needs brother and I grew up with animals and I firmly believe that there's something with just connecting with an animal and just petting them that they just bring this sense of happiness into your life. So um, when we got Charlie, uh, we actually noticed that, you know, he was just such a joy to our life. He was such a joy to our daughter's life. We were going on walks all the time. He's obviously, our animals are a huge part of our life. They're always with us. Um, you know, but right after that, we actually prompted, or it, we landed another huge business opportunity. And um, not to say that Charlie was the reason, but I think, we engaging in those things that make you want to live the life that you want to live help speed up the process and yeah. we've really created this beautiful life and we have to tribute yeah i mean once we, we got the big the first big client we started to do well then we were able to book a destination wedding in turks and caicos so we went there, we did that. That was a huge deal for us. That was. I mean, our daughter was what, three years old and two. already two years old and traveling out of the country for the first time. Which I had never been out of the country. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, I've only been to Canada. So um, it, yeah, it was, it was amazing. But not only that, we found that every time we do something that we love that brings us joy and we feel those emotions of gratitude, like we're very thankful that we have the opportunity to do this. We are able to we're thankful that we were able to put our daughter into private school. We we're able to live in a very nice area with a nice house and to be able to afford, you know, different luxuries like having pets and taking care of them. I mean, a lot of people aren't able to live with pets or can't afford them. Uh, they don't know how to adopt. I mean, there's a million different things, but we found that every time we do something that makes us happy, 
and we show gratitude that something else, the universe will give us something else that, I mean, and, it's amazing. It's just every time without, and without he's a flaw. absolutely right. Gratitude is a huge part of our lives and you can, um, I mean, you can wrap in gratitude with prayer. I mean, we pray quite a bit. I mean, with our daughter, I mean, you, you see Buddhas all around the house, but we were Christians as well. Um, you know, we, we believe in being happy and believe in being grateful, but we also believe in giving back. And, um, you know, philanthropy is something that has come into our lives that we take very seriously. Um, I, we both personally know what it feels like to struggle um, with finances, with, um, you know, dysfunctional families. Um, we both have families who have histories of mental illness and substance abuse. I mentioned that I have a special needs brother. I mean, there are so many factors that play into families these days that have incredible stressors. Um, and not everybody is dealt the greatest cards. And it's very hard to get out of that negative thinking, especially if you're not in a positive environment. So Cody and I take philanthropy very seriously. Um, obviously we have a passion for animals. Um, we're, uh, my husband's on the board of the Humane Society. Um, I myself have a huge passion for girls. We have a daughter and uh, there's a local school here that helps girls in the county who are failing in the public school system. And these girls, of course, are coming from just the worst circumstances. So um, every month the school emails us a list of birthdays that are that month and Cody and I go to Publix and all we do is we make sure that that girl, uh, we pick up a birthday cake, a pack of candles, a card, and a bag in a balloon and we drop it off to her because you know what, not everybody gets a birthday cake on their birthday and we just feel like little things like that um, really make an impact because we want to give back, we want to help people, but I feel that I have so much gratitude um, after a day like that. I love yeah. giving back and I feel that that impacts, you know, my positive energy to attract better things into my life. and. Um, for anybody who's kind of skeptical with the law of attraction, you know, you can find most of these principles in any business book, parenting book, um, you know, within your church. They're all very ancient and yeah. um, related, but Cody has some books I know that helped him. Yeah, I mean, like she was saying, like a, a lot, most of the religions, they carry on the same message over and over and it's just worded differently. Every religion has the same kind of principles, it seems. Where if you just, I mean, if you think you can, you can create your own reality. I mean, that's, that's the secret that they were talking about in the secret and, and, you know, they go over and over, but, um, we're, we're living proof. We do it all the time. We've got it down to a science. It's, it's just amazing. We just want to share that. So, I mean, some things that helped us get and into And it's completely it, free. Yeah, you know, I mean, you don't have to, it's, it's, li just, it's just reshaping your mind, but these are, power these are of positive thought. Just um, tools that have helped so, us. So, I mean, some books like uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. That's a good one. Um, the Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. And uh, The Law of Attraction by Esther and Jerry Hicks. Uh, the Abram, uh, they teach the Abraham Hicks uh, methods. Um, and then we've got and then, another so one. for me, I tried to read some of those and those are all very good. I've read them now, but when I was first starting out in the practice, those were a little bit difficult for me. So believe it or not, Cody recommended this book by Russell Simmons. Um, and it actually has a foreword by Donald Trump, Do you. but do you, and, um, he got into meditation through yoga, which is really cool yeah, he's because a big time. I, you know, that's kind of how I, I mean, obviously the secret, but I had heard about it because I was kind of flirting with this idea of yoga. And then I read this and I'm like, oh, well he meditates and he does yoga yeah. and he's successful. And so, you know, it was just more of pop culture of something to relate to. And then something that personally helps me, um, 
throughout the day. I know this is the digital age and we are that tech family. However, I still like to write in a journal. So this is a panda journal and um, it's great because I can, it goes through monthly goals, weekly goals and daily goals, um, things I'll do to make this week great. Um, but it has how I'll improve personal affirmations and I just like stationary and I think journaling and writing your goals and tracking um, is a it, it's fun and I can actually see the data and look back and go wow this does work and hey do you remember when that big client came in what happened around then and I'll look back yeah, and I'll see what we were huge, doing yeah. and then when I'm like oh my gosh do you remember when this happened and it was devastating and it's just our world got rocked and then I'm looking back, I'm like, what was going on around then? And and it really is amazing when you see what oh, kind of attitude or town. ailments That's what our families here. Yeah. Oh, it does so, happen. There is it does it does happen. Things but, the but universe you know throws what? curveballs, but it's 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 getting that point. I can say I am becoming more self-aware and how to disarm situations where before I would find myself just heightened to the point of anxiety um, and just really stressed. And now I'm finding ways to manage it better. And I think I really have to attribute that to uh, meditation and the law of attraction. So we really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, we want to hear from you. Please like our video, subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions about anything, you know, we, we want to hear from you and we're just, excited we hope you try the law of, of attraction out we hope that um you find that these tools helped and we just hope that you have a great day we'll see you later